Arsenal at its core is a fun party game that you can play with friends. This is pretty obvious considering the items obtained in the game are pretty comedical. But then you have no life people like me who take this game way too seriously and dissect the lore and metrics of this forgiven wasteland of a game. So that's exactly what I did. Here's the flow of Arsenal. Arsenal has to begin with two spawns, both being as far away from each other as possible. For this example, I'll be using the map Beach, as it's the most intuitive. One team starts on the dock area, and one starts by the train set. As both teams collide closer and closer, there's something called the rotation. As part of the rotation, the algorithm kicks in that starts fluctuating the spawns around. Other spawns come into play as the little hut at the top, the top of the sand castle, inside the other hut on the road, and so many more other spawns in this map. Since this map has two major points, the balcony on top of the roofs, as well as the ground, many people flock to the top to get the higher end angle off of the enemy team. This can work for both teams in a negative and positive way. The way this is a positive is that it gives them the higher edge, literally the higher edge considering that they're off the ground and higher up, considering that the people on the bottom pretty much are defenseless until they regain territory once their spawns fluctuate. Camping can be useful, but it's also one of the hugest annoyances this game can contain. Camping is where a person or multiple persons stand in a small area containing overview of the map which gives them advantage over other players. It's extremely hard to counter a camper, but once you counter them, you can get the high ground and pretty much just camp exactly how they were. Spawn trapping is the true retard moment. Spawn trapping basically gives you full control over the enemy team since by abusing the spawn limits you can basically stand slightly outside of them to have them infinitely spawn in that location and as you kill them they'll just pour out a spawn with their game pads and as you just destroy them within seconds if you have good enough aim.